Everyone, please welcome on stage Juha Ruohonen of FAM Sports. All right. Can you hear me in the back? Good afternoon. How is Slash? How are you? You sleeping? Wake up. I know it's been a long day, but it's still, still an hour to go. So uh, try to bear with me and, and the great panel that's going to follow me here. OK, I'm going to introduce to the science behind any athletic performance. And um, let's start with this one. This guy is CC Sabathia. He's the pitcher for New York Yankees. And he's just signed a new deal during the weekend. Five years and $122 million. Can you imagine? $122 million throwing the ball around. Isn't that great? What it means is that he must be able to play not every night, but almost every evening. And that's where we come to play. Now, in order to be a top athlete in the world, you have to train very hard. But when you train hard, there's always a danger that you overtrain. And if you overtrain, it leads to injuries. And uh, it, it takes long to recover from the injuries, and of course, it's very expensive. That's especially so in sports, that are speed and require speed and explosive power, such in every game, um, track and field, skating, uh, sports like that. And it's very hard to assess the condition of your muscle system. What we have is a solution for that. We developed a concept called training optimization. It's a device and a service to assess the neuromuscular load of your body. And currently, we do this for the top athletes. Uh, it's a clinic, clinically accepted medical device. And uh, what it does in practice is, or how does it work, we feed interferential current into the tissue system, either through wrists or ankles. And then we record seven separate responses. And based on that, our smart algorithm calculates the load on the human body. In the simplest form, it will tell the athlete that you can train hard, you should take it easy, or you can't train at all. And the last option is always the hardest for any athlete, not to train. So the value is that we can optimize the individual training response. That's the first one. That's very difficult in team sports because, for example, in a football team, most of the training is done as a team. And it's hard for coaches to know how an individual player reacts to training or the game from last night. We can help them to assess it easily. In the morning, they know that these guys can train hard. These guys should take it easy. Second thing, which is even more valuable, is that we can avoid the overtraining and thereby prevent the injuries. And if and when injuries do happen, we can also speed up the recovery by measuring the effectiveness of different physiological uh, treatments. Here's an example from football. So, for example, pulled hamstring here is a very common injury in football. And since the players are making a lot of money, you can calculate how much it costs when the guys can't play. So it typically takes a couple of weeks for them to recover and the insurance is paying one third. So there's a lot of money involved because the guy is not on the playing field. And of course, if he's the key player, that's even worse. Now, why are we unique? We are unique because we're focused on the neuromuscular system. And we have a method that is predictive. So we can predict the overtraining syndrome a couple of days before, for example, any heart rate based measuring system. And that's, of course, very common. A lot of you have also heart rate, heart rate monitors, right? How many of you have heart rate monitors? Hands up. You're lying. They sell them a couple of hundred million every year, so there should be more. But that's good. Um, market information. I'm not going to bore you with these figures. I'm just going to give a couple of examples. For example, there are 265 million registered football players in the world. That's a huge figure. And these are all potential users for our system. Um, how many marathon runners here? 
Tuomas at least. Not many. How many triathlists? <laughs> Same guy. Okay, that's good. There's half a million people running marathon every year in the US. And they are the target group of our next generation service. What we're going to do next is this. We're going to introduce a very simple device and a cloud service that is aimed to all of you who currently have heart rate monitors. And it measures the load on your neuromuscular system in two minutes and then sends it wirelessly to any smartphone, tablet, or device which you can then use to analyze what's actually happening in your body. And this service and the device will be out in the first quarter of next year. Our method is patented, so is the device. It's clinically accepted as said, and uh, we're at the final stages of the FDA process in the US. So what we're going to do next is, is we have great references from professional sports, uh, teams such as New York Knicks, uh, Borussia Dortmund in football. We're going to expand that, uh, launch the next generation service. Of course, we need some funding as well. Nothing comes for free in this world. And then finally, after the funding, we're, we're planning to enter the US market. And there's also another possibility to use the method uh, in healthcare, as we heard from the panel discussion, there's a lot of um, things that people want to do at their home instead of always going to a lab or hospital for some measurements. And uh, that's something that we can also do in the future, but that's further down the line. Okay, that was the short introduction for FAM Sports. If you have any questions, I'll be around. If you want to talk to me, please grab me. I'll be here today and tomorrow. So, thank you.